Yo, 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 what's going on, family, man? Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the lifestyle with your boy, Trap Vision 3D. Uh, today's episode, man, we're going to be real brief with this, man. But uh, I, you, if you saw the thumbnail, if that's what drew you in, uh, we're seriously going to cover that. Um, counterfeit watches, um, man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, so recently I had uh, a few of my buddies on Facebook um, – that's not in the Invicta community send me a message like, hey, I saw this watch and uh, I, this is what I paid for it or I'm considered buying it. And I was like, hey, you know, was it? And the first thing I say is like, is it from this, this, that and the other? I'm trying to see where they got it from. And I wasn't thinking along the lines of they're buying a counterfeit Invicta piece. But I was like, hey, if it's shop, I hadn't seen you get in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Because I like talking to people over on Shop HQ's uh, Invicta uh, chat. Right. And um that wasn't the case. They was like, no, nah, it was this website. So I looked at the website and this website that I saw said that they were affiliates of uh, Invicta, right? And I was like, never heard of it. So I know uh, Amazon sell Invicta pieces. Joma Shop sells Invicta. There are some private sellers and stuff like that. Uh, and I can tell you a few that I know that I've dealt with in the past. Uh, and if you want to know that information, I can actually drop it. Just let me know down in the description. I can uh, point you in the right direction. And, uh, of course, InvictaStores.com and ShopHQ. But as of lately, uh, I saw these ads on Facebook, man, where, let me give you an example. This right here is a Boat Herc, right? And this right here. Uh, when Invicta first brought these watches out, uh, like three, four years ago, three years ago, um, they were ranging from like two ninety nine to just depending on what it had. If it had diamonds in it, which this one does not have diamonds, you can see a price tag of two ninety nine all the way up to about a thousand dollars, just depending if it had you know Swiss movement in it or whatever the case is. Uh, there's a bunch of things that go into it. Now, one thing I can tell you about this piece is it is a heavy time piece. It is big. It's robust. Uh, but Invicta has proven themselves over over time, you know. And, of course, there is controversy about, you know, Invicta's quality. But I can say this. The counterfeit market doesn't just stop at AP, uh, Rolex, Patek, and all of those brands, you know. And... One thing that I know all watch, people that love watches, one thing that we all can agree on is that you follow the brand that you like the most and you support it, the heritage behind it. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a number of reasons why you buy watches, but my purpose of being here today is telling you, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled, especially now. I saw a news article come across. This was in August of this year, right? See it? That happened oh, nearly $7 million worth of counterfeit stuff. Uh, I read through the article. There was some uh, bracelets, some AP stuff, Rolex stuff, uh, Patek bracelets or what have you. These people were counterfeiting everything. And then, uh, like earlier this year, right here, $81 million, yo, man, dude. So it made me dig a little bit more. And I see that there's this is a billion dollars. And I never really thought about it like that and have i ever purchased a fake watch yes i have i actually bought a few fake watches because here's the here's the crazy thing is i know the pedigree of the company that i was buying a fake watch that was supposed to be representing that that big company is like hey i can't afford to drop thirty thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars so i'm gonna get the next best thing and that is the fake piece right let me just say this go homage do homage uh, I actually have on an Invicta piece right here that I'm still testing out. I've had this watch like three weeks now, and uh, I've been wearing it, beating it up just to see if it, you know, how well it is. But I paid $134 for this. That's $134 that I worked for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, could I buy a Daytona because that's what this is? No, I could not with on my current salary. I cannot. Could I possibly in the future? It's possible. You never know. But seeing that it's either homage or the real thing, that's all my mind is set on because just imagine if you created a watch company, right? You want people to buy into your brand. You want people to believe in what you have and you want your coins. You feel me? You want your money. You don't want some bum just coming along with, 
not even a homage. They literally are passing your watch off as the real thing. So I've seen this. And don't think it's just Invicta. I mean, I'm sorry. Don't think it's just like the, the big brands. People are, I saw a fake version of this. This is a Sabakwa Noma 7, right? Dragon pushers and stuff like that. Meteorite dial. Well, it has meteorite on the dial, the sub dials. Heavy watch. I showed this the a few days ago, what have you. Um, solid timepiece. It has Swiss movement in it. And again, Invicta has put their stamp on that. Now, how can you tell a fake Invicta timepiece? Well, here's one right here. The thumbnail. That is a fake timepiece. I worked in the, uh, at one point I worked for K Jewelers, right? And somebody I worked with bought uh, the Joker watch. And it was like, yo, man, I paid like 70 bucks for this. And I know at the time that watch was going, it was no less than $299. Nothing less than $299. And I said, how much did you pay for it? And they told me like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. I was like, let me check it out. Let me see this watch. And I saw it and the case back told me everything plus the front of it because i actually have that watch and it, it it's it's a shame that people are even counterfeiting uh invicta is not expensive now i've been rocking invicta for since 2014 and i can tell you that it's a very inexpensive brand for those people that has never purchased an invicta piece let me throw some some stuff up on the screen for you these prices of these watches i can tell you there's different tiers, different tiers of quality. You have reserve brands and you have like the Venom, for example. The Venom at one point was one of the most expensive pieces you can get from Invicta. Nowadays, the prices have dropped. Now, I will say this because I don't want you going out there getting ripped off. Uh, I understand. One of the things that, and I will say this is marketing by Invicta, something smart. They give you a dive case with it a three slot dive case and the first thing you're thinking i need to complete the set or like i want to add more watches to this dive case and the more dive cases you get the more watches you want to feel that has been the norm with invicta collectors point blank period it is more of a collecting the mass over time you you have collectors that have seven eight hundred some even boasting three thousand invicta time pieces and don't matter. It does not matter who you are. And if you feel like that's absurd or whatever the case is, that's that's for a different show. What I'm saying is if you are one of those that are that you got to have, you got to pad, you got that Pokemon method. I got to collect as many as possible. You have to be careful. If the watch that you know, for example, a watch that you know is normally rocking $199, $300. Invicta has lately been given discounts like crazy coupon codes and all that kind of stuff and i get it you want to pay the least amount and get the most it's human nature it just is all i'm saying is be careful do not give that money to these counterfeiters um do the invicta company want to get their coins just like any other company you want it they want to get their money they don't want to have counterfeiters but i'm talking about for you i don't want you going out there and being fooled be oh man these bees is crazy get out of here you you have to be mindful, be careful, because if you know, for example, I mean, if you know that you have been spending two hundred dollars on that particular brand in Invicta, and now all of a sudden somebody's offering you, unless it's a private seller and they're trying to push it off, and I will still be careful with that. But if it's a company saying, "Hey, I got," they created a web because I can create a website. Was it Etsy? Etsy. I can create a website and do that. Last point. There are a lot of people, like as far as content creators, there's a lot of eyes out there. Whether they're subscribed to the channel or not, there are a lot of eyes out there. I was recently approached by a company out of China asking me to be a part of their brand. They said in their, their message, I have Invicta, I have guests, I have this, that, and the other. Low cost, be a part of it, be an ambassador for the brand. I can ship you all these watches and you can sell it on your channel. I'm not going for it. You're not reputable. I mean, if the Invicta watch company contacted me and say hey we want to you know we want you to sell watches on your channel that's one thing aragon same thing that's one thing even seiko but some no-name company that said i got thousands of these watches and you can sell them at what i don't know 80 80 to 100 bucks a piece 
you you keep some of the profit i'd rather stay the way i am right now i will stay in the lane that i'm in because i love what i do i love my collection i love the people that that's behind me and that support me i know so just be careful that's all i have to say about that i was supposed to do five minutes or less but you know i i kind of got caught up in the i don't want you out there buying this stuff man so y'all that's all i got for the day if I get any other news, man, of course, you know, I'm going to drop it your way, man. So, family, thank you for watching, man. If you have not subscribed and you made it this far, go ahead. Go ahead. If you want to be a member, dude, we're doing big things next month for, you know, uh, what is it? Cancer Awareness Month, breast cancer. That's where the money's going. So, until the next Lightning Strike family, you guys be blessed.